Okay, so you want to log into your PayPal, and then you're going to go to your tools, um, Delio right there, and then click on all tools. And then we're going to go to PayPal buttons. So open that up. And obviously you have a whole bunch of buttons, but you're going to go to create new button if you don't already have one. Okay, so then you're going to choose your button type. So it can just be a buy now, add to cart, whatever it's going to be, installment plan. So you can even set that up through PayPal. I guess I shouldn't have clicked that because it's taking forever. Okay, no bad. Automatic billing. So anyway, we're going to go and just create a buy now button. And any of these you can edit in the same way. And so then you're going to give your item a name. So let's see, Rita's awesome widget and you give it an ID if you need to and say that you want to price this at $339 and then you can add options right there so option one so maybe even add on add um, one hour of support $150 done etc etc or you can delete that part. Um, shipping, if you have shipping, which you probably don't, if this is a digital product. And then you can use your merchant ID or your email address. So then you're going to um, customize the advanced features. This is where um, your redirect comes in. So do you want to let your customer change quantities? No, I don't. Do your customer add special instructions? Sure. Do I need my customer shipping address? No. Or if you do, of course, but you do. This is what we're talking about though. Take your customers to this URL and they cancel their checkout. So you can make a, oh, I'm sorry. Or, and then also um, take the customers to this URL when they finish your checkout. So for example, if somebody's purchasing, um, I don't know, a, a website for me, uh, from me, I might take them to RitaEster.com, client onboarding, or whatever my um, onboarding link is that I send my um, clients to for them to fill out their onboarding paperwork. So that way they go automatically to that or if it's um, say a download page it might be free free ebook and that's where they go to download their thing or buy their thing I mean or access their materials. So any kind of digital product they can just go to that page that's where they access that. And then um, any advanced variables that you want to use, which I have never in my life used these things. Anyway, hope that helps.